now what I, what do i want to do so i want to go back to this relationship beta and from this relationship what i want to do is i have just now derived u in terms of y u ko y ke terms mein se likha na u is equal to 1 minus y by l so i have just now derived u in terms of y i just want to put that there beta so what will happen p is equal to pe 1 plus mu f and instead of u yahan pe jo u hai na hamara instead of that u beta i am going to write this entire thing so i will have 1 minus y by l comma z is this clear okay so now what i have been able to do beta i have been able to derive a relationship between p and y between p and y clear hui baat acha can you tell me through our earlier information beta what is the relationship between u and inflation we know that unemployment rate and inflation are negatively related to each other hai na this also is clear to us will be clear to us through the chapter next chapter that we have done beta which is the phillips curve the phillips curve tells us that unemployment rate and inflation are negatively related to each other ek aur tarike se sochne ki koshish karte hain see when there is higher unemployment jab unemployment bahut zyada hoti hai then the bargaining power falls people are not able to bargain but when bargaining power falls they can only ask for less wage when wages will be less then cost of production is less so price of the product can be less so inflation will be less so but a high unemployment is always related to low inflation but 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 i have just now proved you that unemployment and output are negatively related jab output zyada hota hai to employment zyada hoti hai to unemployment kam hoti hai so unemployment and output they are negatively related to each other so what have we proved we have proved that if there is higher unemployment matlab u zyada hai beta what does that mean there will be lower output so y will be less so less y means higher unemployment and higher unemployment means less price level less inflation so beta inko agar main combine karu what is the relationship i am getting between output and inflation i am going ahead and i am getting a negative relationship uh, a positive relationship between output and inflation output or inflation ke beech mein direct relationship hai you see this they are moving in the same direction so i can go ahead and say that y and p are directly related y and p are directly related beta this is nothing but the as curve the as curve gives me relationship between the output and the price that at what level of price i want to supply what level of the output so just see here if i take level of price as p1 then beta my output level is y1 if i take level of price as p2 then beta my output level is y2 if the price increases if the price at which firm can sell its output jis price pe firm apna output bech sakte hain agar wo price badh jayega if the out if the price will increase firm will be willing to sell more output so can i say there is a positive relationship between p and y yes ma'am we can say that so that means that this is going to be upward sloping as well so but this equation that you have here this equation, this is giving me that same relationship but don't go by this negative sign na na this negative sign it represented u na ye to u ki jagah par aaya hai 
एंड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड पी हैव एन इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप है कि नहीं है सो बेटा इफ यू एंड पी हैव एन इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप एंड यू एंड वाई ऑल्सो आर नेगेटिवली रिलेटेड तो पी और वाई तो पॉजिटिवली रिलेटेड हो गए ना लेट मी रिपीट दिस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इंस्टेड ऑफ यू इंस्टेड ऑफ यू बेटा आई रोट वन माइनस वाई बाय एल यू एंड पी दे हैव इनवर्स रिलेशन U and Y also have inverse relation. समझो बात को This is what I proved कि जब Y बढ़ता है तो unemployment कम हो जाती है U and Y have inverse relation. So बेटा U and P they are inversely related. तो suppose U increases तो P गिर जाएगा U and Y are also inversely related. So बेटा when unemployment increases output will also decrease. तो इससे can't I say that they are directly related? I can. So, but P and Y they have a direct relationship in this equation, and this equation itself, but this is called as the A square. Its derivation can come in exam. So, this is known as the A S relation. I hope all of you are clear with it. 